Shout Factory TV, changing the channel. What have you got besides your Spanish lace and Dresden teacups? My collection's very well thought of, and uh, I have a comfortable little fortune, about 40,000 francs a year. Miss Osmond and I can live beautifully on that. Beautifully? No. Sufficiently, yes. Her father can give you nothing. He, uh, he lives like a rich man. The money's his wife's. She brought him a large fortune. Well, Mrs. Osmond is very fond of her stepdaughter. She may do something. For a lovesick man, you have your wits about you. No, she would probably prefer to keep her money for her own children. Her own children? Surely she has none. She may have yet. She had a poor little boy who died almost two years ago. I'm very sorry. Uh, she's a splendid woman. I don't say your offer's to be jumped at. But there might be a worse one. Mr. Osmond, however, will incline to believe he can do better. <laughs> well, he can do better, perhaps, but... His daughter can do no better than marry the man she loves. Well, she does, you know. And in the meanwhile, I'll say a word to Mrs. Osmond. No. No, don't set her going or you'll spoil everything. Her husband's sure to have other views. I advise you not to multiply the points of difference between them. Let the matter alone until I've taken a few soundings. Let the matter alone? But I'm in love. Oh, you won't burn up.